Hi, I'm Nick. Hi, I'm Pia. And we love, love to, to smell. smell. This week we're talking about the new collection from Penhaligons, which is called Portraits. Each of the fragrances is a character in a fictional family. Okay. So there is Lord George, there's Lady Blanche, there's the Duchess Rose, and the Duke as well. And okay. um, the fragrances are supposed to sort of represent their personality somewhat. Okay. So kind of like the Adams family then? <laughs> I think it's um, more... A period piece than the other Oh, family. I see. It's more supposed to be, um, well, like late Victorian era. Okay, so not like the Goldbergs. Guardian. Not like the Goldbergs. More like Downton ish. Downton ish? Okay. Downton ish. Mm. I see. There's a story for each character. Okay. Um, and, and each of those stories is probably a little bit less than positive. <laughs> Wow, okay. Yeah, so Lord George, for example, there's a tagline that says faithful to king and country, but it's implied not to his wife. Oh, okay. Right? And the first fragrance is the tragedy of Lord George. So as you can see, it has this stag's head, rather resplendent stag's head for a cap. Um, and I just want to let you feel that because I imagined that they were plastic. It's metal. It's metal. It's quite heavy. The tragedy of Lord George is supposed to be quite a sort of traditional masculine fragrance. Um, oh, it is. It's it's really, really traditional fougere. Yes, but there's a kind of like rummy, boozy twist, um, and some more materials making it less trad in inverted commas. It's because quite it feels like, herbal. Yes. It's quite, quite herbal. Yeah, this is really herbal. So mm -hmm. it's, it's that classic sort of fougere theme. So there's yeah. more kind of lavender, moss. Yeah, and it's quite uh, barbershoppy. Yeah, very, well. very barbershoppy. Um, and I, I feel like it's quite an easy fougere at that. It's not a particularly challenging one. If you think like Penhaligon's other fragrance, Sartorial, yeah. Yeah. which is a fougere and a proper traditional one in terms of structure, yeah. but it's got some challenging elements, this is actually quite easy. Revenge of Lady Blanche. So I think this is kind of uh, a wild cat of some description for a list. I'm gonna, I can't. Cougar. <laughs> yeah, maybe it could be a cougar. It's a purpose. I don't know. But if I'm really honest, I don't think a cougar would smell of this. Would they not? No. She's supposed to be a leopard. Mm. Actually. It's quite on Fusion de Ries it by is. Prada, but we've this... got a kind of like Galbanum Narcissus edge. Um, yeah, it this is actually feel... quite a bit um, too polished, I think. Mm -hmm. perhaps, yeah. I think cougars would go for something a bit more trashy, let's face it. I well, think. something that has claws. Something, yeah. These have been filed away. Yeah. She's been declawed. Maybe that's the marriage. <laughs> <laughs> you expect something kind of rah, you know, yeah, with, that, with that with that cap and you know, this is just not at all what no. you'd expect with that cap and with that story. Yeah. It's actually sort of quite reserved. Quite reserved, quite but, polite, very, yeah. very polished. But then I suppose that it maybe it's the public representation. Possibly. Rather than the kind of real one. This is the public yeah. facade. This is what she puts on when she goes everywhere and has to pretend yes. to be nice. Yeah, this, this and then is secretly the, behind closed doors she's like, out to get you. Yeah. <laughs> this is the trophy wife. Uh, the trophy wife edition. The edition. <laughs> ah! For sure. So the next fragrance we're going to smell is the coveted Duchess Rose. It's just a very pretty English rose with a kind of like bubbly champagne-y feeling. So it, again, it doesn't really go with the juice colour and I don't think it feels particularly foxy foxy. Yeah. But she's supposed to be like this kind of debutante that everyone wants to be with, you know? So, and that feels quite debutante, you know? This rose is like rose prosecco. Yeah. This smells. Yeah, it's, it literally smells like someone's just put some rose liqueur into, in a, into a, a, a glass of prosecco. A prosecco. This yeah. is 100% that. I, I actually don't need yeah. to say anything else about this fragrance. No, that's I mean, that's a that's literally 100% that yeah and I want to wear some <laughs> <laughs> so the last fragrance in the collection is much ado about the Duke so we have two men two women characters um, and the Duke is meant to be 
a flamboyant character. I see. So perhaps the Duchess Rose is not happy in her relationship mm -hmm. because not a lot of hanky panky goes on. Oops. Oops. So anyway, this is my favourite in the collection. Okay. Because it's gin and roses. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's pretty marvellous for that. Um, it's a very spice heavy gin though and yeah. I'm really into it and actually the rose on the skin is sublime. Like really really sublime. It's far and away my mo like the fragrance I find most interesting in this collection. Yeah this is a uh, peppery gin yeah. with yeah, yeah, rose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. pepper yeah. gin, rose, that's it. Yeah. yeah. It's more of a live rose than rose absolute rose oil. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a rose it's, in bloom. It, it is a rose in bloom accord. It's mm -hmm. absolutely. I mean, um, it's a bit like wearing like a freshly plucked rose on your lapel or something mm -hmm, like that, mm -hmm. and then you've spilled a cocktail all over yourself because you're a terrible drunk. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't know anything about being clumsy and spilling things. No. That doesn't happen here. That does not happen here. One of the things that does actually appeal to me about this range mm -hmm. overall is that I do have this habit of thinking of characters as them. people. Yeah, that's true. Um, and so it just, I'm really happy that somebody's <laughs> actually gone out of their way and done, done that. Done characters yes. for yeah. fragrances, yeah. 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 So that was this week. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And we'll see you again next time. Bye! Bye. So that was this week. No, wait, I'm not looking at the camera. Sorry. <laughs> I was just saying, die.